New laser technology is changing the way Burns doctors in WA treat children's scars. The groundbreaking therapy is transforming young lives and has been made possible with a little help from our firefighters. Clayton's scars are a reminder of a painful accident. He was burnt when he knocked over a boiling kettle. He was just a toddler. It's been an ongoing thing really, um, something you learn to live with. But now at least he might not have to live with the scars, thanks to a carbon dioxide laser. Burns doctors at Princess Margaret Hospital are now using the technology to reduce scarring in children. Machinery like this is state of the art. It is extremely expensive. It's not part of everyday treatment. There's no surgery and children don't have to wear compression garments after the procedure. The machine works by penetrating deep layers of the skin with laser energy. It seems it's never too late. We have seemed to be getting results way late down the track, which is fantastic. It's used by the cosmetic industry for skin rejuvenation treatments, but WA is now leading the charge on using this laser on burns. We were the first state to use it at all in Australia and we've got the most experience within Australia of using this kind of device on skies. The laser costs more than $200,000, much of the money raised by firefighters who bared their bodies so children could strip theirs of scarring. The Fireys pitched in with Princess Margaret Hospital Foundation and the Fiona Wood Foundation to get the machine. Clayton has only had one treatment and the results are already promising. Now it's already getting a lot flatter and with the laser hopefully that redness sort of goes away as well. We can actually take what is cutting edge technology internationally and deliver right here in WA because people of WA are so generous. Up until now this treatment was only available to adults at Royal Perth Hospital. Now there are at least 80 children on a waiting list to use it here at Princess Margaret Hospital. It sort of gives you an idea. Mia Brankov, Nine News.